and traders welcome to the TMT stock market special edition video on gold well I wanted to give you guys another update on gold and uh, these videos are for uh, special edition subscribers we have for fourteen dollars and ninety five cents bi-weekly so uh, we but I like to put them out there to show you what we offer uh, and it's just something that um, a lot of the uh, uh, video subscribers on gold made some really really nice money we had some um, targets objective that have been met okay uh, the and I'm going to show that to you but I wanted to talk to you more about uh, what happened on Friday and uh, there the um, what's really the trade for gold going forward and of course the gold miners uh, gold likes lower yields they always love lower yields because gold is obviously doesn't produce yield right it's just a it's a asset class of uh, a commodity uh, it's a metal and it does not have any type of yield at all so really uh, in essence it is a safe haven um, uh, uh, asset that you can buy uh, and hold right and it does appreciate and depreciates as well so we had overnight global yields really take it on the chin and this is compliments of stockcharts.com you can see that here US UK Germany Japan they all got whacked and uh, what does that mean to the stock market? Well, that means that if the yields are running lower, what's happening to bonds? They're exploding higher. And that's exactly what we had. So money comes out of equities and goes into bonds, goes into gold. Uh, and gold was up yet again. Uh, but not really uh, anything to take note of Yes, of uh, on Friday. Um, it was, it was a, a nice little move, but the gold miners actually rolled over. And I've gotten many emails. Well, Mark, why do you think the gold miners were going down if gold was going up? Well... It starts out like, first of all, uh, the gold miners is a very speculative play to trade uh, if you want to get involved in uh, gold and uh, you think the gold miners will do it, and it will. In the early stages of, uh, of, of, uh, gold, of the gold move, the gold miners are really your best bet. They're more speculative. They're highly speculative, actually, uh, in relation to buying just the GLD, the ETF for, for gold. So you have to be very careful at one point during the cycle. Gold will pick up more than the miners, all right? So in the beginning... The beginning of the move, the miners actually work out really, really well. You'll get more um, uh, more appreciation on your portfolio than you would with gold. But then in the second half and the third half and uh, uh, the latter half of the move, gold will outshine the miners. Uh, usually that's the case. Again, this is not me. This is historic price, um, and that's how usually what happens. Now, the another in the other cases is that a lot of um, market participants, let's say retail, if you will. Uh, they buy the GDX, and if the market is starting to sell off pretty hard and they have profits, what do they do? They don't sell what they lost. What they do is they keep their losers, and they take the good money that they have in the trade, sell that, and pay for the bad money because they, they never want to sell anything. So that's the problem here, and that's what's happening with GDX. GDX rolled over. Not a big deal. It was not even a big move, but still, um, it is surprising when you don't know the relationship and what happens when you have a market that moves lower and uh, that's the scary part uh, when the market is moving lower nobody nobody understands oh well we're just gonna keep buying a dip well one day it's not gonna happen and the markets gonna are gonna go into correction phase and it's gonna continue and just continue and continue and wipe out everybody that's been buying this market and buying the dips so just be aware of that guys there is a there is a, cha a shift in trend happening uh, it's not confirmed but you need to be careful about it okay all right now let's run right into uh, I want to show you a couple of little things here Let's take a look at the dollar. Um, I mentioned in my premium videos uh, to my subscribers uh, and also in our trading room, we have a dark pool trading room that we uh, measure dark pool activity and we trade on the side of the dark pools. Uh, something that you might want to take a look at as well. Uh, UUP, okay, I mentioned don't. This was Friday's uh, job report, the dismal job report. We sold off, they went lower, and look what happened. Now it's starting to fill the gap. And that's what happened with gold. Gold with the 38,000 uh, jobs that were just created, gold exploded and the dollar sold off, which is basically the norm. Um, but you, you can't count the dollar out when there's, when there's uh, a, bu a build up in fear. Gold will go, and also, believe it or not, the dollar will go as well. Okay? So the dollar here to me, next target's going to be right around 24, uh, $25, let's call it. That's a 200 day in the UUP ETF. All right? Let's take a look at this GDX now. All right, we have two trend lines here in GDX from the low, uh, from from actually from uh, the January low, and uh, December low, and you could see that we had negative uh, divergence as price was moving up, and all of a sudden, bam, that was the job number right here. We didn't really go to where too much in in a, in a GDX other than the big gap up and then another gap up. So you could see 
that we went, let me, let me open this up a little bit. We actually gapped up and we went sideways. We had inside days for two days, then another gap up and inside days. So really we had one big move, a gap up, one big move, and then we stayed stagnant for three days and another gap up and we stayed stagnant. We can't even get up above here now. And I just want you to be aware of this. Gold is notorious for, for sell-offs in June. Notorious. Out of the norm, just comes right out of the blue. They just sell gold. I don't know why, but gold is a big, big seller in the month of June. Now, if there's extreme market turmoil, maybe that might be alleviated. But I just want you guys to understand that uh, gold does sell off <laughs> out of the blue uh, and could sell off, you know, this whole move. Or maybe at least fill the gap in one of the gaps here. I don't know if it's going to fill all of the gaps, but you got to just be careful about that. Just take a heads up on that. That's GDX. Uh, and also, by the way, GDX, we had a 38% retracement, which was right about here. Um, and GDX was the strongest out of all of them. That was the only one target that was hit. We had another objective target that did not was not met. And you can see here, um, we had uh, Nugget, okay? And Nugget had hit our first objective target at 50% did not hit the 61. So I took the the arrows off. Uh, but you can see here, uh, we, we're, we're approaching this big move, man, a big move in Nugget. Me personally, I like Nugget and I love gold on the uh, intermediate term. Uh, but I do see, we su I would suspect one more big sell-off, and that's when I would start nibbling into gold. I would not buy gold in here. I would not buy gold at all in any of these areas. GDX, too high, too overextended. Um, can we go higher? Absolutely, but that's just not my trading plan. My trading plan is to buy pullbacks into support. Uh, and Nugget and GDX and GLD, all of those stocks, they're, they're, they're starting to show uh, a new leg up, in, in uh, a new bullish leg up. In their uh, in that in their asset classes, so I'm going to look to buy that, but I would wait uh, until we get a deeper pullback. Like here would have been nice, and if they would have flushed them down back down here. But this is really the reference point, guys, in Nugget and also in GDX and all this whole pullback that happened in June, uh, May. If this is the reference point, you need to look at. If we can make another lower high, a higher low from here, that would be your low. That's going to be your stop. Any buy, any way you buy in these areas here. If it takes out this low here. She's going to go all the way back down again. That I will tell you. That's how it works with the, with the gold stocks and uh, ETFs. Silver, same thing. As you can see, potential target. We did get, we, we hit that level and we gapped up tremendously. All right. So I would wait again for a pullback, wait for a gap fill area, and then we look to buy gold. And again, your stop is going to be below this reference point here. If, if we make a higher low, if we tag this and go lower, then obviously you're going to have to wait for, an, for another established position in, uh, in support GLD uh, same thing we hit our one target we did not hit the second target all right the second target was down here to 50% at 112 uh, so we hit our objective target and then look what happened exploded right back up again you could see a gap up three days consolidation a gap up this actually moved a little bit because gold did move a little bit more than uh, than GDX and like I said when you're in your second stage uh, gold will pick up and you could see this here you had one right consolidation and then you're going to have this consolidation's whole gamut here, if you will. And let me just show this to you. This whole area here and here is consolidation. So you have one run up, consolidation, and then bam, that's your second leg after we take this out, okay? Um, and right now, even we could even go a little bit lower and still be in your consolidation phase and then go up left. So we're going into our second stage of the rally, and that's the bigger, that's the bigger move. Um, and but we want to wait patiently. You don't want to hold on to this thing as the stock uh, as a uh, GLD or gold goes back down to 1180 and 1200. And again, I am not saying it is. I have no idea, but it I've seen it happen before. So just be careful, okay? If you want to establish a position, okay, that's really about it. All right, guys. I hope um hope it helps. Have a great day and uh, look out for the other special edition videos. We'll keep you updated. Take care.